Hi everyone, so these are the things I wish I knew before I started an online business. And I wish someone told me these things, but they're really hard to find also online. There's not many resources online uh, regarding lessons that they've learned. So the first one I want to cover is where to find stock online. So pretty much people, if they don't go on Alibaba, they go on AliExpress. So uh, Alibaba is kind of like eBay, but it's for finding uh, stock. So for example, if you're going to sell a sweater, uh, you can go on uh, Alibaba and you can find someone who will sell these sweaters. You can find someone who will actually put your label on them, print your label or put your design on it. What you have to do uh, when you're reaching out to them is ask what their minimum order quantity is. So for example, some products, their minimum order quantity could be 10, 20, 50, 100, 1000. So it depends on the product. So just ask them what their minimum order quantity is. You can also source your products by AliExpress. So they're actually a brother-sister brands. The difference is AliExpress, you can just buy one product from their store. With AliExpress, some products can be customized. Even if you're only buying one or two products, they'll just have a higher price per product. Or you can just uh, ship products directly to your customers and that's called dropshipping. So if you want to learn more about these kind of topics, you just Google dropshipping or how to talk to suppliers for Alibaba. You'll find more resources through there. So there's a lot of resources if you know what you're looking for. If you don't know what you're looking for, it's hard to know what to type on Google or where to start your research. So that's why I wanted to put this video together. The next tip that I wish I knew was to uh, meet like-minded people. And because of COVID, it's not really about events. It's more about meeting them online. So there are a lot of Facebook groups. If you want to go uh, with female entrepreneurs, there's also female entrepreneur Facebook groups. There's also Facebook groups about finding photographers and stylists. Uh, because I'm in the Sydney, Australia area, you can type in last minute photographers or makeup artists. But I'm sure every other country or state will have something similar. Uh, we also have uh, female entrepreneur Facebook groups. There's one that's really popular here in Sydney, Australia. It's called Like Minded B. That's a swear word, so I can't say it. I don't think I can say it on YouTube. Be drinking wine, like-minded be drinking wine. If you go on that, you can find uh, also other female entrepreneurs. So there's a lot of Facebook groups like that and it's really great to just uh, hear what they're talking about. Even if you're too shy to talk on those groups, you can hear what they're talking about and see what kind of topics they discuss with each other. It's nice to uh, mingle amongst people who talk about the same topics or think about similar things because sometimes it's not likely that you are surrounded with people who are also in business or in the same industry as you. You can also find people who are in the same industry as you on Facebook. But sometimes in our friendship circles, it's not necessarily the case. So it's nice to talk to people who are like-minded in that sense. And to know that you're not alone, I think that's what is one of the most important things in being a part of these groups is. The next advice I wish I knew was to work on a mindset. So sometimes our worst enemies really are our mindset and in order to do something that is completely different to what we're used to, we have to change the way we think. Uh, sometimes these things are not taught in school as well. It's important to read books or to listen to podcasts in order to learn more things like this. For mindset podcasts, I like listening to Impact Theory or to listen to Jay Shetty. For books, I have a video on positive books. If you, if you just search uh, best self-development books or best books on a certain topic that you're trying to learn more of, that's a great way to start to growing your knowledge helps change your mindset as well and also to learn from people who have already achieved what you want to achieve. It's not every day that we get to stumble upon people who have become successful entrepreneurs, so being able to read about their autobiography and to hear directly from them feels like a direct mentorship but it's only the cost of borrowing a book or just buying a book, which is a lot cheaper than getting mentorship. These are really affordable ways to learn how they think and then to understand what works for you. And if you read different types of books, you sort of learn what uh, lifestyles or habits work for you as well. Reading these books also help you develop a uh, positive self-perception, uh, positive self-belief, because building your own business is not an easy job. It's easy to fall into the trap of self-doubt when the going gets tough but when, when you continually read these books or what I like to do is to listen to these books when I'm in the shower and that's a great way to just use that time to listen to things that motivate me that inspire me or help me learn and grow as a person and especially doing that in the morning it really makes you more excited for the rest of the day 
my next lesson that I wish I learned earlier was to only take advice from people who have achieved what you hope to achieve or who are in the same industry. People genuinely want to help you, that's why they give you advice. But you have to be careful who you take advice from and who you listen to because it can end up uh, really confusing and it can make it hard for you to know what step to take next. So make sure you only listen to advice to people who you want to become. Have a look at what they've done in the past and see if that's the kind of path you want to take. If what they've done uh, is something that inspires you and you want to be just like them, then definitely listen to the advice. But if it isn't, then be careful. My next lesson I wish I learned earlier was to schedule time to unwind and relax at the end of the day. It's very, very easy to burn out and to stress out, especially if you're uh, really focused on achieving your goal and it's something that you've been really wanting to do. Sometimes we might accidentally push ourselves too hard because there's no one telling us how much we should do and how much we shouldn't do. Schedule time, especially before bed. It's different for everyone, but for me, I like to take uh, one to two hours before bed, definitely. That helps make sure that I have a good rest so that I wake up feeling relaxed or I go to bed relaxed, which is really important. Otherwise, I notice that my productivity just ends up going down every single day little bit by little bit and by the end of the month I realize I'm burnt out so it's uh, at it in the long run it's not worth it it's, uh, it's more important to actually take time to unwind and you know we're not robots we're only human we're only trying to achieve this because we want to create our dream lifestyle the next thing I wish my younger self knew was to not be shy to tell others about what you're doing because people actually really want to support you I used to be too shy to share about what I was doing so I wouldn't really tell people about what I'm doing and sometimes even now I'm too shy uh, to tell them so I just remind myself that people you know genuinely want to support you and want to see you succeed most of the time people want to see you succeed so don't be shy about telling people what you're currently doing uh, most of the time they want to check you out they want to support you so just uh, feel free to share what you're doing even on Facebook or Instagram the next thing I wish I knew earlier was to learn more about my personality type and also my strengths. So I found it really helpful to learn about my strengths and personality type. Once you know what your natural strengths are, you know what to focus on more. And things that you're not very good at, you can find other people to help you out with. When you know what your strengths are and what your personality type is, you know what kind of environment suits you better, what kind of activities give you energy uh, rather than ones that take energy from you. And that really helped me know what to focus on in my life. Last but not least, uh, write down why you started and what goal you hope to achieve after a certain period of time. Writing down why you started and when you want to achieve this gives you motivation on days that you are excited and also on days where you are feeling really down. And it helps you focus on what matters most. Sometimes I get bogged down in the nitty gritty uh, and I end up going on a tangent and when I read this I understand what's important to me why I started it, what my values are, and it gives me energy to keep on going. I hope it helped you and I hope it inspired you to do whatever you want to do and to pursue your dreams. And if you'd like quotes or positive messages, I have these jewelry pieces. So one says fearless, one says uh, abundant, one says radiant. So, And I also have this one that says manifest. If you'd like positive messages like these, Enjoy, you can check out my website. It's called Flames of Dreamers, so I will link it down below in the description. Don't be afraid to go for your dreams, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.